Oh, God, I got to get out of here. I, um, it's cool. I, I got in COVID. It was one of the cool things about COVID. I got uh, in a new relationship. That was all right. I got a new girlfriend. Don't worry, it's only temporary. I, uh, I just am terrible in relationships. I, I think I'm a little autistic is my problem. I have a mild autism. No, I'm autistic. I, I, don't, I don't know. I took a BuzzFeed quiz, and they said I am. So that's what I'm basing that off of. They did say I am. They said I'm 3% autistic and 7% Ross from Friends. Um, are they wrong? I don't know. I'm not romantic. That's my problem. I am not a romantic guy at all. Any, any romantic guys here at all? No? You're, how, how you romantic? How you romantic? So you're like wearing a condom kind of thing, or what do you do? Always, always romantic? I'm not. Every girlfriend I've ever had has, has complained about this. They like, Danny, you are not romantic. And I'm like, you know what? Why don't you find somebody else? And they always do. I don't know why I say that. I just, it's so easy to find somebody else now. It's just fucking log into a goddamn app. It's ridiculous. The only thing I can say about that that's at least a little good is that there's the scope of things you're allowed to do is really narrowing as a man. You ever ask an old person how they met? Somebody, you're like, hey, Grandma, how'd you and Grandpa meet? You're like, well, it was after. The, and the moment that voice starts quivering, you're like, fuck, I wish I didn't ask this shit. It's gonna take forever. She's like, it was after the war ended. I was a cashier at a hardware store. And your grandfather came in, and he asked me out on a date, but I said no, just because I didn't want to come off as a huge slut. And you're like, Grandma, he's... It's like, no, I did want to get my box filled that day, if I remember <laughs> correctly. But so your grandfather came back the next day, and he asked me out again, and I said no again. And then he just kept coming back and coming back, and he just wore me down. And we've been together for 65 wonderful years. Like, you married your stalker. <laughs> And that shit used to be romantic. That legitimately used to be a romantic thing. Do you know what would happen right now? If you ask out a cashier, she says no, and then you come back the next day? Do you understand? You are not gonna be telling that story to your grandkids. You are going to be telling that story to a jury of your peers. <laughs> like, your honor, I thought she was being coy. <laughs> I realize I'm facing all this fucking jail time. This sucks. <sighs> it's tough being a creepy dude. It is tough being a creepy guy right now. It is tough being a creepy guy. By the way, if you don't know what a creepy guy is, it's any guy under a six that talks to a woman. That's the current definition of a creepy guy. That is the current, so if you're under a six, get some money or you're gonna die. I don't know, you're just, you're, you'll die and you won't reproduce 100%, so that's, that sucks. My friend, he told me, he did the most romantic thing. I go, I could never do this shit. He asked his wife to marry him, okay? She comes home one day and he made this path of rose petals from the front door to the bedroom, he's waiting in the bedroom on one knee to propose. By the way, there's a lot of women here, right? Women, do you just instinctively know to follow rose petal paths? Is that just something you are hardwired where you see a path of rose petals and you're like, what's at the end of this shit? And you just kind of, you go, like no matter what? Like you're like a crow or something. You just like, like guys, if you ever need to trap a woman, because women, you trap men with babies, but guys, if you ever need to trap, you ever need to trap a woman, right? It's different for, for men. You just fucking put down a bunch of rose petals and then just, and then you could probably take the box that they come in and just put a stick, you know, like set up one of those traps with the box and the stick. And you gotta put something shiny in there. Women love shiny shit, right? It doesn't have to be valuable. It just has to catch, it could be like a fucking fishing lure. It just has to catch the light right. My friend told me this. I go, I'm like, I could fucking never do that. Uh, the main reason I couldn't do that is because I'm such a piece of shit, I'd probably be putting down these fucking rose petals and at the last minute, I'd be like, you know what, I should do something funny instead. And I'd put down all these rose petals and at the end of it, I'd just leave a vacuum waiting. And... 
I'd just be sitting in the corner being like, that's funny, right? That's fucking funny. Anyways, I'm gonna go watch the game. Uh, clean that shit up. <laughs> um, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta get going here. Uh,